MCD01 Proposed Rate Structure and Rates Hello, I'm Diane Shear, Director of Interpreter and Cart Services at MCDHH. This vlog is in regards to a new proposed state rate structure for sign language interpreters. This new rate structure is the result of a work group formed by MCDHH with participation from the members of the deaf and interpreting community. I will share the names of the work group members later. But first, want to explain our current rate structure and the timeline for establishing new rates. The current fiscal year 16 rates were valid through June 30, 2016. These fiscal 16 rates have been extended for a limited time through December 31, 2016, while we work to establish new rates to go into effect on January 1, 2017. It is an important time for us to collect your feedback on a new proposed rate structure that was created by the work group. Here is our current rate structure. I understand you will not be able to see it clearly in this vlog, so I will add a hyperlink below for you to view the current rate structure. As you can see, there are multiple rows, totaling 13. Each relate to a specific certification. Such as SCL, Special Certificate Legal, Legally Approved by MCDHH. There are various certifications represented within the rows. Deaf interpreters, certified deaf interpreters, MCDHH state screened interpreters as well. Now I will show you what the newly proposed rate structures looks like. There's a substantial difference, as you can see for yourself, between these two documents. The new rate structure has not been finalized or adopted. We are soliciting your feedback for the proposed rate structure. The proposed rate structure has only four rows. With this new rate structure, the first row recognizes those who are fully certified. One example, a certified deaf interpreter would be considered fully certified as well as those who possess the NIC certification. Interpreters who hold BEI certification would be fully certified as well. BEI is a certification from the state of Texas. The fully certified interpreter category also includes interpreters who have the combined certification of CI, CT, Certificate of Interpretation, Certificate of Transliteration, of OIC, Oral Interpreter Certification, and Oral Transliteration Certificate. 
The RSC is also classified as fully certified. The second row recognizes those who are partially certified. Some interpreters within the community have the CI, Certificate of Interpretation, but do not have the Certificate of Transliteration, CT. They have one certification that means they are partially certified, not fully certified. Partially certified it also includes OAT certifications, for example, IC or TC, OIC, Oral Interpreting certifi Certificate for Interpreting into Spoken English. Those are some of the examples. The third row recognizes MCDHH state screened interpreters, referred to as Level 2. This includes those interpreters who have taken and passed MCDHH screening and have also passed RAD's written examination. Those two combined will receive a rate increase. The fourth row recognizes those interpreters who have passed the screening and are MCDHH approved but have yet to take and pass RAD's written examination. The new rate structure, remember it is only proposed recognizes those interpreters working in the community who are specialists in the field. For example, those who are legally approved who would have, would have an increase of $5 regardless of their being categorized as fully or partially certified. If they are legally approved, they will receive a $5 rate increase from their base rate. Also, the proposed rate structure recognizes deafblind interpreters with a $5 rate increase. Interpreters who have their SEL, Special Certificate Legal, will have an increase of $10, regardless of full or partial certification. Those, there are also some newly proposed specializations that have not been recognized previously. Trilingual interpreters, those interpreters with expertise interpreting English, ASL, and spoken Spanish will receive a $5 rate increase and it applies to trilingual interpreters who are approved but are not yet officially certified. For those who interpreters who are certified trilingual interpreters, there is a $10 rate increase. The only state currently in the country who offers certification is the state of Texas. Through BEI certification. Another newly proposed category is for International Sign Language Certification, also known as Justuno. It recognizes those interpreters with a $10 rate increase. The new rate structure also recognizes years of experience through rate increases at five-year intervals shown left to right across the columns. You can see the rate increases based on years of experience. The rate increase is based on recognition of the number of years worked and on continuing education. I would like to recognize and thank the work group members for all of their assistance in developing this newly proposed rate structure. Those involved are Lisa Chango, 
Stephanie Clark, Nathan Fowler, Rachel Heller, Carol Helbinger, Sue Phillip, Andrew Veth, and Joan Wattman. Those individuals represent both the deaf and interpreting community. They worked hard and diligently in developing this new rate structure. They also made sure no one would experience a rate decrease in all of the categories in the structure. We would now like you to review and compare the current rate structure and the proposed rate structure. Please share your comments with MCDHH. You can submit written comments or signed videos to the Commissioner's Executive Assistant, Hannah Hannigan, at amy.hannigan at massmail.state.ma.us. The deadline is Friday. November 18th, 2016. Thank you. Thank you for your attention and participation. It is very important in establishing new state rates for interpreters and transliterators across the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Thank you. Images of the MCD01 2016 rate chart and MCD01 proposed 2017 rate chart have been added to this video. Each image will appear for approximately 10 seconds. Please pause the video to view or go to the URL below for the actual documents.